David Niven's memoir, The Moon's a Balloon, is a remarkable literary work that documents the life and career of the beloved British actor. Through this captivating and witty memoir, Niven takes readers on a journey through his life, from his childhood in England to his success in Hollywood, revealing his thoughts, experiences, and emotions along the way. One of the most striking features of Niven's memoir is its narrative style. Niven's prose is straightforward and simple, yet vividly descriptive, allowing readers to visualize his experiences as if they were watching a film. He employs a conversational tone throughout the book, which gives the impression that he is talking directly to the reader, sharing his stories with sincerity and humor. For example, in one section, Niven describes his first meeting with the legendary actor, Laurence Olivier, in a humorous and self-deprecating manner. He writes, I sat there trembling and sweating, like a bulldog in a sauna, which not only creates a vivid image but also adds a touch of levity to the situation. Another noteworthy aspect of The Moon's a Balloon is Niven's ability to convey his emotions and inner thoughts to the reader. He is refreshingly honest about his successes and failures, his fears and desires, and his relationships with the people in his life. For instance, he candidly talks about his struggle with alcoholism and the impact it had on his career and personal life. Niven also shares his deep love for his wife, Jordis, and the pain he felt at her death. Through his candid and emotional writing, Niven creates a deep connection with the reader, inviting them to share in his joys and sorrows. In addition, the Moon's a Balloon offers readers a fascinating glimpse into the world of Hollywood during its golden age. Niven's stories about his experiences working with some of the biggest names in the industry, such as Errol Flynn and Clark Gable, are both entertaining and insightful. He provides a behind-the-scenes look at the making of classic films like Wuthering Heights and The Prisoner of Zenda, revealing the technical and creative processes involved in filmmaking. Niven's descriptions of Hollywood parties, where stars mingled with royalty and politicians, are also a delight to read, as they give readers a sense of the glamour and excess of the era. However, what makes The Moon's a Balloon truly remarkable is Niven's ability to weave together his personal stories with larger historical events. He lived through two world wars and the Great Depression, and his experiences during these tumultuous times are woven throughout the book. He talks about his service in the British Army during World War II, and his work as a propagandist for the Allies. He also shares his views on politics and society, including his admiration for Winston Churchill and his opposition to communism. By incorporating these larger historical events into his memoir, Niven creates a powerful narrative that not only tells his own story but also provides a window into the broader social and political context of his time. In conclusion, The Moon's a Balloon is a superb memoir that is both entertaining and insightful. Niven's honest and emotional writing, his vivid descriptions, and his ability to connect his personal story to larger historical events make this book a classic of its genre. It is a testament to the life and career of a remarkable actor and a beloved cultural icon, and it continues to captivate readers to this day.